Hi, and welcome to this Kasambi tutorial. In this session, we'll discuss about the possible communication issues that may be experienced depending on the physical environment where the Kasambi device has been installed. Real-life communication distance doesn't depend on the Kasambi device itself, but on where it's been installed and any obstructions that may reduce or block radio signals. For example, a luminaire with a metal enclosure will have a shorter communication distance than an identical looking luminaire made from plastic or a thick concrete wall may block the signal between Kasambi devices installed in different rooms. When pairing devices to a Kasambi network, your mobile device needs to communicate directly one-to-one -one with each Kasambi enabled device. On larger installations, or if using products with a weaker signal caused by the materials used in their construction, the pairing process may require you to move around the installation so that your mobile device can connect with each individual product. In this way, all devices will be paired to a network, but that doesn't necessarily mean they'll communicate together. After pairing, devices directly communicate with each other via the mesh. However, if a device has been positioned out of communication range of others, or if materials are blocking direct communication between Kasambi-enabled devices, you may experience what we refer to as an island issue. In other words, there's a point in the network that's isolated and can't receive commands from or transmit commands to the rest of the network. One way this can be noticed is if you're moving around an installation while trying to control a network from your mobile device. From one location, different devices may react compared to if you're in a different place. This is because during normal use, your mobile device only connects to one Kasambi product in order to send a command. The mesh network itself then distributes the command to the other devices. If there's an island issue, which section of the network responds will depend on the product your mobile device is connected to. There are two ways to solve an island issue. Either move devices closer together, which is not usually possible or desired, or add another Kasambi device to the network to create a communication bridge. The additional device only needs to be paired to the network. It doesn't need to be programmed to do anything. Another issue related to signal strength may result in intermittent communication where a device might occasionally appear offline or not react. Such issues are normally due to a device having been installed at the very limit of its communication range. Radio signal strength will vary slightly since radio signals naturally travel in waves. If devices are at the limit of their communication range, it may be that the connection is occasionally lost. The device signal strength indication that can be seen in the Kasambi app nearby devices view indicates mobile to device, not device to device signal strength. However, a low reading may still suggest an increased risk of communication issues, especially if you're physically close to a device and the signal is still showing as low. To maximise communication reliability, it's good practice to always consider the construction of the product itself, the installation location and the materials in use. Communication distances will vary for differing product designs. The manufacturer should be able to inform the communication distance for their designs. Also, consider physical obstructions that may be present on an installation and always try to install products in line of sight of each other. Further information can be found from our support website and in our app user guide. You can also sign up for our free online training courses on our website. Thanks for watching.